What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a car crash mechanic. Um, so, so what you're going to do is you want a vehicle and a part. You need to have this configured or else it will just explode on itself uh, and destroy itself. So you want to have a part and tinker this. I'm going to make this a wall, a giant wall like this. And what you want to do is you want to select the color. I'm going to select this color maybe and let's uh, change it to a brick color like that and brick material so what you want to do is find the part that is sensitive I'm gonna choose this part um, right here and actually let's choose the this part and the back part so those two are vulnerable so now we're gonna go in here insert a script and what you're going to do is script dot parent dot touch. Um, wait a minute. We need to fix something first. So we, we got to go in here, this part, and we're going to uh, change the name to crash, uh, crash part. Like that. So you can use other ways to con configure it or something like that, but we're going to go in now. So we have a name crash part. So we're going to go in here and you're going to go into the bumper script here. And we're going to do script dot parent dot um, touched connect function like that. And we're going to do um, hit right there. And we're going to do if hit dot name equals equals and then we're gonna find out what the name of it was crash part crash crash part um then and then we're gonna do the local local explosion part explosion um explosion part equals um equals script dot parent and I'm gonna do local local um explo not local x local explosion equals instance dot new explosion right explosion like that simple as that and then we're gonna choose where we want the explosion to be so we're gonna do in the workspace and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do explosion dot position equals explosion part dot position like that simple as that so then we're gonna do um so that's it pretty much that is it unless we want that part to get destroyed right after which we probably want so we're gonna do explosion part colon destroy like that so now i'm pretty sure it should be vulnerable to that um, now I want to note some people you say that I am copying people because I talk slow in my videos first of all the reason that I take breaks is so you guys can hear what I'm saying and um, and so because I don't test the script usually sometimes before I actually do this there's only sometimes if I actually know what I'm doing not sometimes I don't really know sometimes I just want to explore the scripts but anyways let's go here so sometimes, yeah, I, I just think of it, and I think it works, so I make a video on it. If it doesn't work, then I scrap that. So here we go. Let's test it out. Ooh. There we go, guys. <laughs> okay, it actually worked. So, um, there we go. Um, so you see right here, it crashes when it's hit. So it will um, destroy itself. Now, you can also do this without an explosion. Um... Um, let's copy that in here, and there we are. So when it collides there, let's try to do this on the other side now. Um, uh, script, but now let's copy that and paste that script in. But in this here, we're gonna remove all this, and we're gonna do um, script dot parent colon destroy like that. So that will just remove it. Also removing the world like that so that is really cool so that's pretty much what you can do if you want to make like car crashes if they when they crash you can do that um, but you have to have a configured part called crash part and that's really important see right here I can't crash it it is only possible 
if I use that. So let's try using the other side now. We need to steer very carefully because we don't want to explode it again. Uh, yeah, that is kind of weird because... No, 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 no. Why is it so difficult to steer this vehicle? Okay, we gotta align it like that. Okay, I am really bad at this. Okay, like that. So that destroys that part. Um, this part fell off. He's right here. Um, <laughs> lol. <laughs> so, um, we, we gotta do this again. Uh, the steering right now is really intensely bad. Uh, this probably make your own vehicle that is better. I just used a free model to make this go faster. There we go. So that is really cool. Maybe this is a little bit too wild because that, you know, it is way too, you know, strong here. So, um, let's go in here. You can pretty much make the whole car sensitive if you want. Basically. Um, let's open the script. Alright, so you can make um, the whole thing vulnerable, pretty much. Um, you can also make it so if that part is called bumper, so if it touches another bumper. Uh, so you see right here, we can add a comma or bumper. That will allow us to create other explosions. Uh, but I think we need to do um, maybe like that. So we create a table, maybe. Like that. So now we have a table, kind of. Like that. So let's add another one. Um, this, I think this would make it so it, it hits um, that part. It will create another explosion at that part too. So we can actually create, um, we can configure different parts of the names to make it so when it hits another part, it will destroy. So basically we don't want it to destroy whatever. Like if we hit a human, then no, it shouldn't destroy, right? So that's cool. Um, if you want more vehicle videos like these, just comment out below. But, um, because I enjoy doing um, scripting tutorials. Uh, let's try to steer around here. Um, okay, I don't know why it's turning like that. Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay, so we gotta... Um, uh, okay, the steering on this thing is really bad. Okay, apparently didn't hit it correctly. Okay, maybe it just doesn't work. Maybe I did the script wrongly. Yeah, I, I did it wrongly. So what I gotta do is I think that I, yeah, I'm not that good at tables. So uh, crash, oh, crash part um or or um what is it called bumper that's i think that's what it's called yeah bumper or bumper um okay i'm gonna remove this one and i'm gonna add a new one that one duplicate it and i'm gonna add it like that perfect so now it should work. Um, I'm not that good at tables. I just want to note that I suck at doing tables. Um, yeah, uh, I do not know what they are. I'm not that good at it. Uh, right. So, oh my God. Wait, no way. No, 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 no. I think I did something wrong here. Oh, I see. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay, I must have done something wrong then. Uh, maybe it's because that it hits... Oh, I know why. It's because there's another part right under called Bumper 2. Yeah, there's, a, there's another part right under called Bumper. That's kind of cool, I guess. Alright, so what we're going to do is restart it. And let's try again. Now, this makes it very sensitive. So if you accidentally tip over, it will detect its own part right there beside it. Pretty much making everything explodable now but i guess that's how it should work then. Um, i'm pretty sure then if i drive now <gasps> there we go beautiful 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 there we go guys 
um yeah so <laughs> we we did it we scripted um this kind of we, we scripted it why did i say kind of huh. um wait no so it's <laughs> that's hilarious anyways um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll uh, see you in the next video guys uh please subscribe and like the video if you liked it and uh, don't forget to subscribe we're almost at 100 subscribers guys so fast yeah that's pretty fast uh, honestly but yeah see you in the next video guys bye bye